Welcome back to Cast and Brass Goat Farm. Yesterday afternoon, I guess about four o'clock, we cut this grass and swept it up. Trying to see if we could rapidly dry hay, you know. We got hay, but in case somebody needs some this time of year, hay's in short supply. We cut this about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. I swept it up and set it down on a trampoline. Just let the sun and wind blow on it, and here it is. It's 10 o'clock the next morning and it's dry enough. It was dry earlier, but we had other things going on. But uh, it dried out really nice. I mean, you kind of use your common sense on it. You can feel it. Just because it's green does not mean it's not dry. This grass clippings, when it dries, is still green. You get it wet and it looks like fresh cut grass. So, We've done that. This will work. You can try it if you don't see it. We're going to try it again today. Do it two or three or four times. See how it's going to work. And we're going to go ahead while we're doing this. This is kind of how <clears throat> we got started out with hand baling. It can be this simple. Uh, do. We just got a, I don't know what size that is. 35, 40 gallon wheelie bin. Screwed board up here from the inside, put a couple screws to hold the string. You'll tie the other end of your string over here like you could in the washer do. Just kind of take it. Just put this on the worst ain't gonna dig for it. Kind of tie it up here like this. You pull enough down, just let it sit down in there. Kind of pay attention. Make sure they don't get too close or too far away. It ain't got to be perfect if you're doing it for yourself. This is the smaller hay string. Ah, uh, well, look, I ain't gonna lie about it. We're being cheap. It worked, but it was a lot easier. If you use the longer twine, I mean the bigger twine, I gotta wear just something to hold the string. Get another piece here. I got my kids gonna help me a little bit here today. So. Once again, according to my wife, I'm getting too old to do certain things. I'm good in that in there. Jenny, turn that a little bit. Give me a little more string, baby. All right. Kind of run it down in there. Now, some people I've seen, they put boards and screws. Some people use like a small dowel rod to put in the bottom to hold the strings apart and correctly the way they want them. And when you pull it out, you just take your tie the bail and pull it out. Alright. Y'all gonna start down? Mm -hmm. You can just, when, like I said, use a dowel rod or a piece of half inch by half, anything, stick in there to go across, it's smooth. And when you pull the bail out, you just pull that stick out and use it again. So here we got our strings tied off. They ain't perfect by no means. I ain't trying to make it perfect. We're just we're gonna put this this straight in our feeders, but I'm doing this <clears throat> to show y'all how simple it can be. We've got another one we did. We're building another one. Y'all be along with it. All right, kids, get up on the bounce and bounce and uh start pushing this over here to me. Kind of gather it up. Your first ones, you kind of want to take it easy to kind of sit down in there and pay attention to your string. Come on, push it over. Go all the way to the other side, boom, push it over. 